Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, and uh, I'm doing a video today for Brian. This is video reference number 20A23. Quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing a JJ Lecoutre, Jager Lecoutre Reverso, and Brian's asked me to make a video on whatever I want. So he's laid out a few things, so I'm going to answer those questions. The last video <clears throat> in this three-part series is, is there a God? Are aliens visiting? <laughs> Not kidding about aliens. And that's a, a really interesting thing. And I got to tell you, when you think about these things here, it's interesting. A good friend of mine, Herman, who recently died a couple, well, he died a couple years ago. I love, <clears throat> Herman was a good friend. And he's the guy who lost his leg. He was the real estate broker at the Gold Coast. It just fucking went bad. I, I said to Herman, Herman, do you believe in God? And he says, I can't afford not to. And that, that's a good point. When we're younger, we can be atheists and, and not believe. When we get older, we want to have some hope. We always want to have some hope. So, you know, I kind of, uh, I've been really pissed off. I got to tell you, one of my good fans is Father Richard, and I've been a bit pissed off. I've been very pissed off with the Catholic Church. You know, some of the things that have been swept under the carpet, and oh my God, this George Pell situation. My God. Uh, by the way, I think he is probably guilty, okay? I think he is. Um, <clears throat> I think probably, um, yeah, that's that's... He was found guilty by a jury. I mean, the high court, I just can't believe. I can't believe what I'm seeing. But anyhow, so to answer your question, is there a God? And I've got to be honest with you. I I wish there was a God. I really do. I really do. But I've been very disillusioned. There's so much cruelty and suffering that goes on in this world. Is there a God? Um that's a tricky question. Tricky, tricky question. And this COVID-19, can't we just pray to Jesus and get rid of it? You know, why does Jesus, why does this thing happen? I mean, okay, we know it's the Chinese. They were fucking around in a medical experiment, I suppose. And we did kill Jesus' son. We killed his fucking, you know, we killed his son. I mean, you can see why Jesus would be a bit fucked off with us. But, you know, I got to be totally honest with you there is there a god i wish there was a god maybe it's aliens maybe the bible was written so long ago <clears throat> maybe that was aliens it's aliens you know they could walk on water and shit like this i mean fuck i don't think there's a lie there but it could be aliens or um or it could be hoverboard holdings proprietary limited who knows you know I got to be honest with you, aliens, aliens. And I got a good, well, I had a good friend of mine. He's, we sort of drifted apart. He was a associate. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David S.W., David S.W., David S.W. Associate Professor at the University of Queensland in the Department of Chemical Engineering, Dr. D.D. Doe, Vietnamese guy, absolute brilliant guy. And I said to him one day, I said, do you believe in aliens, extraterrestrials? And he said to me, he said it would be arrogant to believe we are the only people, the only, the only creatures in the universe. He would, he said to me, he thought it would be absolutely arrogant to think that, um, that we, we don't already have had alien contact and, we we uh how would you know if they were a more advanced species they would uh they would uh, be able to <clears throat> realize what a bunch of assholes we are and very good point very good point indeed and 
I gotta tell you, this is where it gets very tricky here with aliens themselves there. Uh, my auntie, my auntie, she was uh, doctor, she was one of the Dr. Pluters, auntie. Uh, actually, she, she ditched the Pluter name, it was Dr. Dr. Wallace. She, um, she, yeah, she couldn't ditch the Pluto name fast enough. She, she unfortunately passed away recently and she left all her money to my father. Uh, but Dr. I liked her. I actually like Xena. This fridge, by the way, this fridge here, this came from Xena. Dr. Xena Wallace. This is the, because she, she went to the UK um and this fridge came <clears throat> came came that way so uh yeah yeah that's what that's what happened so uh that's another story for another day but the thing with her is she said she was abducted one day and then many hours later she was released in Ipswich so uh yeah she 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 really believed in aliens and uh she was a huge star trek fan massive star trek fan in fact she even had this is spooky a star trek outfit so um yeah so myself um the reason i bring up aliens maybe to to earthlings uh creatures from out of space is the god so what's to say you know, we think there's a god, but that could be an, some aliens from another another universe. Uh, the other thing is, you know, myself, I've often believed that we're like a train set. Maybe somebody's playing with us like a toy train set, and you, you have a layout, and you do this, and <clears throat> maybe that's what's happened. So uh, maybe the aliens have thrown in coronavirus to see how us earthlings would, would handle it um who knows who knows it's a it's a very fascinating thing indeed there but i gotta be honest with you you know i've um i've i've often been intrigued with aliens you know and uh are there is there another speed well it'd be completely arrogant to think we are the the only ones here and the other thing is, you know, I think the U.S. president, I'd like the Trumpster to reveal the truth. Did they tell him about the aliens in the cage and they tell him, hey, this is, you know, this is this is the story. Does does the president get told the moon landing was a complete b baloney? Does he get told that or um, does he is he not? I don't, I don't know. This is this is the 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 thing there. So I've. Got to be honest with you, I, I highly think it's possible there is aliens. And uh, is that a bad thing? I, look, I, I think, um, look, I, I think honestly, just live a good life and treat all people, creatures and aliens with respect. I think, uh, <clears throat> I think if you treat uh, aliens with respect, I, I, I'm sure they they that would be the best way to to handle it speaking of aliens one of the props i have in my my studio doo -doo -doo -doo, is the doctor who tardis and uh, i gotta say you know i'm a huge <sighs> doctor who fan so what's to say what's to say we can't have time travel. Hey, well, what's to say we can't? And uh, what's to say we can't have time travel? So um, uh, I, I love Doctor Who. I think, what's to say aliens haven't written that script so we could be introduced to the concepts? What's to say? So um, with that, let's, uh, let's end the video. Hello! Hello! And there we go, one of the, the most beautiful <clears throat> Pateks of modern times. A key reference point in Patek history. The 5035, proudly part of the Archie Luxury Wistwatch Collection.
Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down, but if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was, but most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author, Let Dogs Be Dogs, available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination.